Hello everyone, I'm Sunset Spectre, and this is Minecraft 1.9.4 Beta. Today we're going to be starting a long play, along with this being my first video on YouTube. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to need to click on single player, I'm going to need to create a new world. Uh, long play... Oh, that, that, yeah, right. Let's do that right. World options... Um... Random. Sure, why not? And create new world. As I get to watch the wonderful green progress bar move slowly across the dirt textured background, I ponder to myself, how do people make interesting commentary over progress bars? Well, I'm sure I'm going to fail at it anyway, so we'll just continue to watch this crawl across the screen as my computer tries to generate a new world. Come on. Come on. Saving chunks. I'm on a cliff. I think. I don't know where I am. I see cows and squid and pine trees and birch trees and a lake. And some really messed up cliffy thing. You know what? No, I'm going to go punch a cow. Because at 1.8 and 1.9, food seems to be more of a priority than shelter at the end of the first day. I'm not going to pass up the opportunity to go punch a cow. I can figure out where it went. I know I saw a cow. I'm not hallucinating a cow. Squid. I can't get anything good from squid except from ink sacs, and you can't eat those, so it doesn't do me any good right now. There's cliffs everywhere. Like, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, where did that cow go? Okay, I'm gonna just be wasting time if I keep searching for that. I'm, I'm gonna have to start building a house. The question is, where do I want to build a house? Nice little lake right here. Some trees next to it. Oh, wait, there's the cow. Ah, sweet. I'm gonna go punch you to death. Come here. Be a good little cow and don't run away. How many times do you have to punch a cow now? Oh, there we go. Good, good, I've got meat. There's another cow and what appears to be a river. Uh, do I want to live on a lake or do I want to live on a river? It seems like that goes pretty far down that way. You know what, I think I'm going to live right here. I'm start punching down these pine trees to clear a little bit of land. Ooh, that's a tall one. Alright, well, let's see what I can do. Seems to be the story of Minecraft. You wake up in a world in which all of the problems you have can be solved by punching things. You need some food? Punch a cow. You need some wood? Punch a tree. You need to level the land? Punch the dirt. You need some seeds? Punch the grass, because that makes total sense. Sit here, continue to punch trees. Since so I didn't see any coal in my little jaunty search for cows, I'm going to need more trees than I thought, because I'm going to need to burn some of it into charcoal. Which means I should probably turn this into a crafting bench and an axe and a pickaxe here pretty soon, so I don't just bore you to death by punching a tree. Oh, that's a shame. Not quite tall enough to get the top of it, and that's the one thing I can't stand in Minecraft, is people who leave floating trees. Every time I'm on a server and I see somebody do that, I just want to run up and punch them. And I usually do. Varying degrees of success. Right, so I'm going to need to make a crafting bench here. Let's see what I can do about that. No, 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 no. Save eight of those. Just need one. No, just need one. Uh, one, two, three. Sure, why not? That'll be where my house will be, eventually. I hope. They don't get slaughtered. Let's see. One pickaxe. And one actual axe. 
And let's not forget the sticks. Right, so let's see. I need to clear more land here. I don't know how tall you are. I'm about to find out the fun way. Oh, crap. You are tall. Shoot. Okay, fine. That's cool. I'm good with that. That's fine. Need to clear more land. Not quite big enough for a house yet. Not a bad idea. Yeah, get up that dirt. That, there we go. Ugh. Why? Why? Why does this take so much resources on the first day? That's the one thing I never understood about Minecraft. Like, if you don't sit here and just literally plow your way into cutting down trees the first day... You, oh, you seriously? I guess I shouldn't complain. It's more wood, but... That's just annoying. As I was saying, you know, if you don't just plow yourself into cutting trees down the first day and just do nothing but boring, chopping lumberjack work, you die a horrible death. When you get blown to hell in the nighttime by creepers. Seriously, I wonder, like, it's a legitimate wonder, you know, like, did Notch have, like, massive nightmares when he was a kid or something? You know, the sun goes down, all the bad things come out at night and try to kill you. I'm sure Freud would have something interesting to say about that. Okay, I think this is going to be the last tree I chopped down. Then I better go get some cobblestone, because I am definitely going to need... Oh, really? Oh, that was not enough wood. All right, fine, whatever. I need cobblestone. Um, I think there was some this way. Back across this lake. There's a lot of sand over there. I guess that's good if I want to make... Oh, there's cobblestone over there, too. I didn't have to cross the lake. Oh, well. That's fine. A swim never hurt anybody. Not really sure I want to be mining into the top of this. Not sure there's any more gravel up there. We're going to find out the fun way. Grab enough cobble here. I don't really want to sleep on a grass floor the first night. I mean, it does absolutely nothing other than just pure aesthetics, but I'd very much like to sleep on a cobblestone floor. Again, nothing but aesthetics. It's just, I do not like sleeping on grass floors. A little OCD like that. I don't know why, it just, it bugs me. I like, I can't stand it. That whole idiom, where you raised at a barn, just comes flooding back into my brain every time I see somebody who has a grass floored house. Yeah, you're gonna find out real quick here that I've got high building standards. Like, whenever I build a structure, it must look pretty, which is why... It, I don't really do legitimate playthroughs that often, so because I can't stand living in little shacks. But we're going to do it anyways. Let's see, 39, 40, 50. Okay, there we go. We're good. That should do it. All right, let's start building a house, because I'm assuming I'm running out of daylight here pretty quick. Maybe. I don't know where the sun is. I don't even know which way's west. Is it that way? I see the... Oh. I've still got a little bit of time. Okay, let's see if I can't build something nice. Or nice-ish. Ooh, more wood. Come here. Mm, there's another cow. I'm not going to pass up the opportunity to kill that. Either want it over here or this is a different one completely. Either way, I'm killing it. With an axe. Oh, I lost my axe, but I got some cow beat. Okay. Now I'm going to need a door. So let's do some doors. 36. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Door. I need at least two stacks of wood. And four. Oh, that's not enough. I need more wood. At least more actual logs. I need to make more cobblestone, or more charcoal. Got enough cobblestone. I don't need more charcoal. Need a short tree to cut down. Sure, you look short. Why not? 
food bar is already going down. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's not- I haven't even done anything real strenuous. I haven't sprinted, I haven't jumped around, I haven't even really killed anything. I've killed two cows, and yet my food bar is already starting to go down. You know, like I said, it seems like in the new Minecraft that rather than having a shelter at the end of the day, you better have a good supply of food, otherwise you starve to death, which doesn't really help much. I probably went too high there. Yeah, I did. Alright, fine, whatever. Shot my way back out of this tree. There, that should work. That should be good now. Okay, speaking of which, I need to make that furnace. That's one, two, three. <laughs> there we go. Standard furnace. Um, more room this way than that way, so I guess I'll put it up here. Um, yes, we'll just convert all of that to charcoal. Just let that burn. Okay, let's build a house. Slash shack thing. Yep, sugar. Nope, that also needs to be wider. I usually have much better building structures, I swear. Please do not take this and think this is how I build on a normal basis. And one for the door. Okay. Start building the walls here. Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, see, yeah, now it's getting dark. There's another cow over there, but you know what? I'm not even going to try. Not enough sunlight. Ah, oh, really? Alright, anyways, I need to get some of that charcoal. So I need to make torches that I can put on the roof so nothing spawns up there in the middle of the night and, you know, decides to come down and kill me. Okay. Yeah, I hope I have enough wood. Oh, I really hope I have enough wood. This is going to be really crap if I don't have enough wood. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Not worried about it. Okay, slightly worried about it now. I lied! I do care! I don't want to die a horrible, horrible death the first night in Minecraft. Oh, that's bad. The furnace went out. I just realized how dark it is. That's an eerie, eerie feeling every time. And you realize just how alone you are. How vulnerable you are. And the fact that there's all sorts of bad stuff spawning out in the middle of the night now. Okay, so, here we go. My little house. And you put a block of cobblestone under the door frame. The one thing I always suggest you doing is putting the hardest material you possibly can underneath your door. Because, if a creeper blows up, and you don't have anything hard under your door, if that dirt block goes, your door goes, and then anything in their mother can walk into your house. I don't know about you, but I don't want my mother walking into my house in Minecraft. Because that would just be awkward. I don't know how exactly you'd explain that to people because that's impossible. Alright, we're doing fairly good here. And inside of a structure, I've got light. Light is good. Take this random block of wood out of the corner here that I used to building. Put in my cobblestone floor. Again, this is purely for aesthetics. It serves no practical purpose whatsoever. It's not like a creeper's gonna blow up in a cave underneath my house or anything. It's also a good thing. If this gets wiped off the face of the earth, at least there's a foundation that people can remember me by. Oh look, there's a spot where Sunset Spectre got blown to crap by a creeper. Okay. Because I don't have a bed, I'm going to need to survive the night the old-fashioned way. Just clutching my sword and staring at a wall until daylight. Put a chest up. Uh, put all my valuables in that chest. 
Like the food and the leather and the... Sure, why not the dirt? Cobble and the charcoal and the stick. Do I extra charcoal? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. I think I'm actually going to make a few more torches with these. Just because they are important and it doesn't hurt to have an extra one. Why did I go into the furnace to do that? That makes no sense. There. <clears throat> Excuse me, you're going to have to bear with me. I've been sick for the past, like, four weeks. Five weeks. I don't know, it's been so long I do not remember being healthy. There. Put half my torches in the chest because torches are important. I don't see any sheep. I see a chicken. I don't see any sheep. That's going to be a problem. Oh, there's a zombie. There's two zombies. Okay. I think this is pretty much where we're going to leave off. I'm going to go back in my shack and cower now. Uh, if you enjoyed what you watched, please consider liking, favoriting, or subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out my personal channel, which has some behind-the-scenes bloopers along with additional content. Also, with that, check out the Facebook group. Both those links can be found in the description below. If you found me through either of those two places, be sure to check out our main channel, Collaborative Nonsense, also linked in the description below for videos uploaded every week by myself and my Collaborative Nonsensical partners. And with that, happy Minecrafting. I'm going to hold on to my iron... Not I wish it was an iron sword, but it's a stone sword. Hey, stone sword. I'm going to hold on to my stone sword and stare at a wall for 10 minutes until daybreak. I wish you happy Minecrafting, and I will see you around. God, I hate zombies.